People enjoy magic in many forms outside of just playing the game. There are YouTube channels, podcasts, altruists, fan artists, cosplayers, writers, and many, many more avenues that people use to express their love for the game. And Wizards of the Coast wants to encourage that, but may have run into an issue with wording yesterday. On the Magic homepage, Blake Rasmussen released an article pointing out the fan art policy for Wizards of the Coast, which has been live for several months at this point. The issue that arose for content creators has to do with the way that some of the policies are stated, and how they apply to the various fan art expressions. No official clarifications have come from Wizards yet, but there have been several posts on Twitter outlining how this policy has been in place for quite some time, and Wizards has not taken any action against content creators for infringing their intellectual property. So so there's no reason to worry now. Last week after the global geocaching event and fan vote, it was revealed that the Sun Empire was the faction that ended up occupying the Golden City of Orozca at the end of the Ixalan storyline. But what would it have looked like if one of the other factions ended up winning the events? That's exactly what today's Magic Story article shows us. A few weeks ago, Allison Lurs of Wizards of the Coast revealed that four separate endings had already been written, one for each faction winning. Today's Magic Story article provides those alternate endings, one for each of the River Heralds, Brazen Coalition, and Legion of Dusk. Finally, the Magic Online Championships will be taking place soon, and a brand new video was released to highlight the event. On the Magic YouTube page, the video shows off several of the 24 players that will be competing, and gives details on the event. Make sure to tune in on March 2nd through the 4th on twitch.tv slash magic to catch all the action. That's our show for today, February 21st. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.